Psalm 126, verse 1, 2, and 3. A popular verse of scripture. But as I begin to stray, there are salient points that I want to share with you. Psalm 126, from verse 1 to verse 3. I'm going to be reading a lot of scriptures as I begin to preach. But this is our anchor scripture this morning. Psalm 126, verse 1 to verse 3. I'd like you to read it by yourself. Don't let anybody read it for you. While all that persons with the mic do the same. Well, read it for yourself because it's a prophetic scripture. It's a prophetic scripture. Psalm 126, from verse 1 to verse 3. The Bible says, we'll read at the count of three. Are you ready? Yes, sir. One, two, three. When, when the, the Lord turned, turned again, again the, the captivity, captivity of Zion, we were like them, them that dream. Then, then was our mouth filled with laughter, and, and our, our tongue with singing. singing. Then said among, among the heathen, the, the Lord had done great, great things, things for them. them. The, the Lord had done great things for us. Whereof we, we are glad. We are glad. <laughs> I want to share on what I tied to mighty turnaround. Mighty turnaround. <laughs> Say it again. Mighty turnaround. turnaround. Anytime you hear the word turnaround, it means to move in an opposite direction. Turn around means to move in an opposite direction. So I'm here this morning to tell those who are going the direction of destiny God did not plan for them. When you study the whole book of Genesis, how God created the earth, created everything before he made man. That's to tell you that everything you need to succeed was created at your disposal. Mm -hmm that's to tell you that everything you need to succeed God has created already for you the buildings you need to become a landlord the landed properties you need the vehicles you need to ease your movement the visas you need to travel abroad the children you need to fulfill the fruitfulness of your body the wife you need the husband you need the fiance and the fiance you need has been provided before you were created and if you've been going a direction where none of these things are found in your life i came to reverse you wow. i came to put you on the on the direction wow. of divine destiny where wow. everything begins to work for your good wow. i came to turn you around wow. from where hell is open for you wow. to where heaven is open for you wow. i came to turn you around wow. from setback to come back in destiny wow. i came to turn you around wow. from zero to hero in destiny wow. and if 49 of you can stand up and shout your amen like a thunder there shall be a turn around in your life there shall be a turn around in your destiny there shall be a turn around in your destiny there shall be a turn around in your business in your health there shall be a turn around in your health there shall be a turn around in your health there shall be a turn around in your health there shall be a turn around in your health there shall be a turn around and me push your neighbor say mighty turn around Push another neighbor, say mighty turn around. Push another neighbor, shout it, say mighty turn around. Sit down. As I began to study my Bible, I discovered there are major two ways that God turns people's life around. Two ways. From Genesis to Revelation. I've studied my Bible several times. Several times. And as I studied by the grace of God, I discovered that there are two major ways God can turn a person's life around. God can turn an individual's life around. Number one is by favor. Somebody has a favor. Favor! Favor is what provokes the helping hand of God. Uh. Favor. Is what does what provoke the, the helping hand of God in the life of an individual? Yes, sir. Any man who has obtained favor from God 
will not die in labor. Uh -huh. Am I talking here? Yes, sir. In Genesis 39, if you read verse 21, listen to me. The Bible says, but the Lord was with Joseph and he showed him mercy and he gave him favor in the sight of the keepers of the prison. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, God was with him and he showed him mercy and he gave him favor. This was why the palace was open for him. Not because he was eloquent. He was eloquent before he came to that stage. But eloquence could not put him in the palace. It took favor to relocate him. Ladies and gentlemen, when your head carries favor, there are certain things that begins to happen to you. You don't labor like others labor. You get double of your little labor. Your labors are amplified and a greater result comes. Am I talking to somebody here? I want to show you something else. In Exodus chapter 12, if you read verse 36, the Bible says, and the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Uh -huh. So that as they went, they borrowed all that they needed from the hands of the Egyptians. Uh -huh. And the favor that they carry made sure the Egyptians did not say no. Uh -huh. And the Bible said they spoiled the Egyptians. Uh -huh. Ladies and gentlemen, anybody that wants to give you a loan, the first thing the person considers is your collateral. The second thing he considers is if you are viable enough to repay such a loan ladies and gentlemen the people of israel were departing from egypt they, they, there was no plan for them to come back there was no plan for them to return yet they borrowed loan from the egyptians without considering the collateral without asking them if they will come back they gave them their goats and their silver this was a product of favor when favor is on your head nobody tells you no everybody must tell you yes they do this under compulsion they do this under command favor is like a charm favor is like a spell when it comes on an individual in reckless abandon it gives all to you that he has in 48 hours oh. there shall be a manifestation of favor yeah. in your life and your business yeah. i see favor entering you yeah. Yeah. i see favor hitting you here yeah. somebody shout favor yeah. oh. in first samuel chapter number two oh. first samuel chapter number two if you read verse 36 the bible says and the lord gave the people sorry first samuel chapter number two and verse 26 sorry and it says and the child somewhere grew and and and, and was in favor both with the lord and with men he said the child somewhere grew and was with favor both with god and with men no wonder that man was so relevant that even as a child he began to hear god that man was so relevant that the servant of the father of Saul testified that every word Samuel said does not fall to the ground. That prophet was so relevant that he's the only prophet that has two books in the Bible first Samuel and second Samuel that man was so relevant that even when he died what living men the question living men could not answer they summoned the spirit to be able to answer that question. Why? Because the man carried favor. When you carry favor people value you. When you carry favor people lift you. No Nobody looks down on a man carrying favor. Nobody looks down on a sister carrying favor. And that's why this morning I came to baptize you with the ornament of favor. That when you leave this mountain where you lack value before, you shall be valued in your marriage. You shall be valued in business. The Lord will give value to your life. He will give value to your career. Ladies and gentlemen, who would have known that 100 naira will have value? People not guide 100 naira. Who would have known that 200 naira will have value? People not guide 200 naira. Am I talking to somebody? Because the stone which the builder has rejected has become the chief of the corner. When you have suffered rejection, I hear in my letter here to tell you value by favor is coming. Value by favor is coming. Value by favor is coming. Favor is coming. And thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion. For the time to favor her. Yeah, the set time has come. There are 29 of you here. Your time for favor has come. Your time for settlement has 
has come. Your time for remembrance has come. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God is on your side. Power is on your side. Favor is on your side. Glory is on your side. Lifting is on your side. Run and shout favor. Run and shout favor. Shake your neighbor shout favor. Shake your neighbor shout favor. Shout favor. Shout favor. A special re they reverenced him even a servant said to him he said this guy his word does not fall a servant and watch it this servant has never met him favor made people speak good of you without meeting you they have no first-hand knowledge of you yet something compels them to advertise you they have not come to your shop to patronize you something is telling them you are selling the cheapest and yet the original <laughs> oh my god this week People will pack your shop. When you ask them how did they come, he says, so, 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 person told me. You say, I don't even know the person. You don't need to know the person. And they just entered somebody to advertise that your shop, to advertise that your business. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, sir. There is a CEO in Aya. There is a CEO in this house. Whether you like it or not, before the month of April comes, before our father comes to bless us finally, you'll be one of the millionaires that will start working on the face of the earth. Aya. Aya. I am the one. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, yeah, sir. Favor. Favor is not a name. Oh. Favor is a man. It's a presence. It's an unction. Because a person can bear favor and not be able to pay landlord. <laughs> am I talking here? Yes, yeah, sir. In First Samuel 16 and verse 22, the Bible says, And Saul sent to Jesse, saying, let David, I pray thee, stand before me, for he had found favor in my sight. A king was looking for a shepherd boy because of favor. Understand this. This guy has not been anointed yet. So you say, he's the anointed that took him to the palace. No, he was not yet anointed. Yet, a king was in search of him. A king was looking for David. Saul said, please help me beg Jesse. To release for me his son David. Who is this son? Somebody who the family relegated in the bush. That he should be taking care of flocks. Favor is what elevates the relegated. Uh -huh. Favor. And they brought him to the palace with the king's wagon. To their private jet. A headsman was sitting in the private jet with his full and his stick. Heading to the palace. It's not how you dress, it's what you carry. Can you look at your neighbor tell your neighbor, say, I carry something. I carry something. Tell your neighbor, say, something day here. Something day here. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, sir. In Esther chapter 2, if you read 15b, 15b because of time, it's an Esther obtained favor in the sight of all of them that looked upon her. Every eye that beheld Esther saw favor. They never saw Esther. Because by pedigree, by credentials, Esther ought not to be in the palace at all. Not even as a slave. By credentials, by degree, Esther ought not to have come close to the palace. He was not even from Babylon. He was not from Medes. He was not from Persian. But yet, he became the queen. How? Which is the arrangement today starts. God rigged election for Esther. Uh -huh. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. <laughs> Esther, the Bible says, Esther obtained favor. And every eye that beheld Esther saw favor. And you cannot see favor and look away. Anytime you see favor, something is telling you, bless this person. Uh -huh. Before Esther became queen, she had no proud knowledge of ruling the palace yes, she had no proud knowledge of ruling in any palace the bible says that the 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 father brother's son who was by name Mordecai, not his uncle her uncle it was not her uncle he was 
the father's brother's son, Mordecai by name, took Esther from Israel and brought her to Babylon. He said, come and be doing my house chores for me. Esther was a maid. But how God took a maid from the kitchen and brought her to the palace. That's why the only thing she could do humanly to please the king was to cook for the king. That was her lifestyle. Cooking was a hobby. But sir, when God shows you favor, the, the first class holders will be abandoned for you to be selected. Yes, sir. When God shows you favor, people ask you, how are you selling market? Because they don't understand. Before you came to, to shop, people are already waiting for you. Cars are already parked. The way they queue for food, they are queuing for biscuits. Uh -huh. your biscuit, get something. Yes, sir. They are queuing. They are queuing. They're waiting for you to come and finally when you come they say ah you are trying to apologize to them ah i'm sorry i didn't come out and they say no 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 don't worry take your time favor commands such an attention yes sir. make a third 29 of you here uh -huh. as you stand and put your right hand on your forehead uh -huh. this week experience high favor in your life Raymond! this week experience high favor in your health Raymond! this week experience high favor in your business Raymond! In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sit down. In Job chapter number 10. If you read verse 12. The Bible says. Then has. Okay brother. Thou has granted me life. And favor. And thy visitation has preserved my spirit. Who was talking Job. Every one of us know what Job went through. It has become a normal poem everywhere. The, the way Job lost everything in one day, lost his children in one day, lost even his marriage was, was lost in one day. But yet, he is confirming now. When you hear testimony from somebody who has been battered and rattled, you ought to reevaluate that testimony. This man lost everything. Yet, he is telling you what kept him alive was favor. He is telling you the reason despite all i went through i stood tall was because of favor the reason what i went through did not paralyze me was because of favor you need favor yes sir you need favor yes sir favor is when god chooses to be partial he overlooks protocol and blesses you favor in daniel chapter 1 and verse 9 the bible says now god brought daniel into favor and tender love with the princes and the eunuch with the prince of the eunuchs brother god brought daniel and deep him into favor no wonder no wonder tell neighbor say no wonder no wonder are you aware daniel came to babylon as a prisoner he came as in chains he was in chains when they brought him yet somebody who was brought into babylon as a prisoner as a fugitive they brought him as a prisoner of war when he got there they made him one of the princes why favor uh -huh. why god is telling us here the reason why daniel excelled despite the condition of his life was because of favor favor has a way of giving you an excellent spirit even when you make mistake people see good in the mistake you make uh -huh. he came into babylon as a prisoner yet god carefully selected him out of others and made him a prince sir daniel was one person who in theory dispensation he reigned he reigned for nebuchadnezzar he reigned for darius he reigned for belshazzar he reigned for theory, theory regime he was reigning now every king that came into power will tell the next king if you want to succeed you see that guy carry him on he's the brain boss of my regime all this development all these things i did this one was the machine when that one dies another one comes they pick Daniel and put. When that one dies, before he dies, we say, ah, you see me? I was able to do this and do this and do this because of this person. Hold him. They bring Daniel to the to the to the administrative uh, uh, capacity of the of, of the dispensation. Am I talking here? Yes, sir. Sir, in your life, there are people who are not just human beings, they are favor. Their presence in your life has a way of making you making you comfortable. There's this security they give to you. Yes, sir. This effrontery, this boldness, this audacity. There's a tenacity they build within you because they're around you. They, carry, they are carriers of favor. Uh -huh. Favor. You can't stay around them and not be, be catalyzed. They, 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 are, they, are, they are catalysts. They, they, they trigger something in you 
they make you know that you can do better than where you are you can be better you can be fairer you can be more unique these are carriers of favor huh? and daniel was one of them yes sir. in luke chapter number one if you read verse 28 and verse 30 verse 28 says the angel came and said hey thou art highly favored now the next verse that i did not write here because of time which is verse 29 mary said to the angel why are you saluting me like this why why will an angel call you know if i want to coin it in the today's vernacular he said hail mary that means an angel will walk to you and tell you i hail you first and foremost what will come to your mind the moment an angel, an angel just came to you and said i hail you you see an angel. You know, some of us that are praying for spiritual intervention. If you really see the spirit when one intervene, you go on leave the intervention. Are you aware? Are you aware that some angels are very ugly? That they have some of them have seven eyes, seven ears, seven nose. The angel carrying your baby really come with those kind of things. Will you collect baby from that kind of angel? No, sir. And so the angel said to her, I hello. And Mary replied, the angel. Who you did me? I rebuke you. And he says, Thou art highly favored. If you read verse 29, verse 30, sorry. He says, Fear not, Mary. Thou art found favor with God. And after he told Mary everything that will happen to her, he said, uh, Out of you, a child will come, he shall become Emmanuel, blah, 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 blah. After all said and done, Mary asked a question How will this be? Seeing that I know not a man, seeing that biology has not taken a tone on me, how will this come to pass? <laughs> he said to her, The spirit of the highest shall overshadow you. That means. Because you are favored, where you ought to labor, the spirit will take the place of your labor. Oh. You will not struggle. The spirit will do the struggling for you. Do you know that Zechariah, a pastor who has known God for many years, asked the same angel that same question. The moment Angel Gabriel came to Zechariah and said, Your wife will put uh, conceive of a child. Zechariah said, How will it be? Instead of the, the angel to say, you are full of grace or full of favor. And you say you shall be dumb. Oh no, why, why? The angel said so. Your mouth, you will not be able to talk again. Now, what will make an angel abuse a pastor that has been a pastor from birth? He was from Levi. He was a pastor. He was a priest from birth. And an angel cursed him because he just asked a question. How will it be? But another lady who had never, she had never sold herself to, the, to, to God. You know, people say because she was a virgin. See, in those days, being a virgin was a normal phenomenon. It was a normal phenomenon. So it, it was not because she was a virgin that made her special. No. She was selected by favor. And so watch it. The same woman asked the same question. How will this be? Because of the favor she carried, the angel could not cause her. So favor can deliver you from a cause. Uh -huh. Favor can give you escape from causes. Favor, thou art highly favored. Uh -huh. So, sir, favor had made all these people outlined now. Favor made them experience mighty turnaround. From nobodies, they became somebodies. From nowhere, they were taken somewhere. Why? Because of the favor of God. And that's why this morning, if there is one thing you are leaving this meeting with, head high is the favor of god amen you will step out of this mountain smelling the perfumes of favor amen. putting on the garment of favor amen. am i talking to somebody here yes, when there is favor on your life you can't die by terminal diseases when there is favor on your life you can't go by accident yes, untimely death cannot be your portion amen. a man who god has shown favor we fulfill the numbers of his days amen. a woman of god has shown favor we not cast her young amen. ladies and gentlemen this morning we are going to call on the favor of the almighty he's going to rest upon our lives 
that when we leave this place we shall become another person our identity will change our focal point will change our mentality will change everything about our life will change as i stretch my hand to where you i call on the god of my father in the lord he shall rain favor on your life it will rain favor on your business your children will carry favor your going out will carry favor your community will carry favor the light of his countenance will prove favor upon you if you scream amen you are the one i'm talking to that's why the bible says where we read it said when the lord turned again the captivity of zion uh-huh. we were like them that dreamed only favor can make your breakthrough come like a dream uh-huh. just imagine yourself now as you sit down like this somebody will forget you for many years if you they give you call for this service as you do now they don't say you did church you don't want to pick after service you come now and say make you pick he come and I tell you, say, make you say your hazard. You can't say your hazard. Finally, you just they look, say, I joke like play, I joke like play. This person, when you know, sometimes, that's how you they give him food, they give him money. Finally, he can't emboss you. You can't see one. You can't see many, 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 many zeros follower. You can't even get confused. You can't screenshot and say, give your friend, may I help you check. Wait till they happen to your phone. Whether that phone they malfunction. Somebody have a favor. Favor! Oh. It will be like dream. Yes, sir. Am I talking to somebody here? Uh-huh. It will be like dream, 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 dream. It will be like dream. It will be like dream. It will look like a dream. Just imagine. I, I won't forget this testimony. I was com- I was coming from a, from a program in Benin. I will never forget this. Many years ago, I was coming. I was driving one small car then, and then I was coming from Benin heading to Ekoma. It was a two-day program. I'd finished the first evening, finished the second evening. With two of my pastors were inside the car. We were rushing home. I needed to get home. I don't know what I was running home to do. I noticed that a car was pushing me from behind. And the car was flashing light. Flashing light. Ah. The more he flashed, the more I pressed my throttle pedal. I was running. Something was just, I didn't know how come, what was telling me, whether I was tired and could not perceive the, what God was trying to show me. I thought it was kidnapper chasing me. I pressed it. Even when I got to checkpoint, I didn't want to tell them, I pressed the car. So ladies and gentlemen, as I was pressing and pressing and pressing, I pressed till I got to Ekboma. Only for me to get to Poki Road, this guy was pushing me. But my, my confidence was, he was the only person in the car, because when I look at the mirror, he's the only person. But something was not comfortable. I was still pressing. Till I got to Bokeh Junction. I mean, if you know Bokeh Junction, it's not far from here. I bent and entered the road. I said, oh, that and that. Came down. Wait, see, why are you chasing me? And the man said to me, sorry, Apostle. Sorry. When I heard sorry, Apostle, I said, okay. I saw the man who was advanced. I said, okay, I'll beat this one. Yes, sir. Last time, what did they happen? All that and that. It was scattered everywhere here. Yeah. All of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden, <laughs> the man said, I'm sorry, Apostle. Don't be angry. He said, I could not sleep. I said, okay. Am I volume 12 or... <laughs> I'm not sleeping drugs now. What's happening? He said, God told me to give you this, my car. <laughs> so you were chasing me from beneath. Just imagine, say, the man can't finally get to you. can't change the mind, say, no. Uh. But no, he could not do that because favor. Yes, sir. Without asking, favor compelled him. There are people that have too much in... They have it in surplus, looking for who to give. The only person that can give them your address is favor. Yes, sir. And the man gave me the car, Mercedes Benz. I will never forget. And behold, I gave my boy the other front one. I said, Well, they pushed that one. If I not drive the Benz with you again, I entered the Benz and I began to cruise it. And the man went, I entered Big Joe and left. Favor does that, sir. Favor. Favor blesses you without struggle. Yes, sir. Favor blesses you, blesses you, blesses you. Bless you. We're living at, um, uh, what do they call this place? Uyale Road. Me and 21 persons in the same house. Sir, if you see our experience that time, you go shop. Imagine 21 persons in three bedroom flat. Now, who fair come? They sleep. <laughs> who fair, who fair come? And the man who gave me the house to rent said to me, mm, after two weeks, 
He said, you'll be pastor. I said, yes. He said, I wish I'd for not giving this house. I said, why? When the guy explained to me, even me, I for not giving myself the house. Can I surprise you? In the two weeks we came, we met the well was full. The well was finished. 21 people bath. <laughs> they are bath now. They used to worship the bath. Where in Nigeria we in Brazil? <laughs> water finished for where? The man drove my hands. He said, no, we say the water finished. The water don't dry. You they see the down of the well. You know, men. We are made in the house. When we are cooking, we cook Liberia. We don't cook all the time. If now once one cook that day, you better be available. If you are not around to eat, convert it to fasting and prayers. It's allowed. Am I talking to somebody here? And so, ladies and gentlemen, I was still there. And a man came. God did something for him. Spoke to him by prophecy. God gave him a miracle job in Binyan. I said, well, how, how do I bless you? I said, anyhow, the Lord wants you to do. And the man said to me, I have one property, one building at... Um, Hey, Mado, can I give you me building? Took me inside this car. Was driving a Mercedes Benz ML then. The man put me inside the car, took me to him, Mado, and carried documents and gave me. And then I started calling my son. So Pastor Flip, you were there. I said, Yeah, go and take one room. Pastor Peter, go and take another room. Pastor Blaze, take the. Is it the room? So still room, right? Was is it Pastor Ablaze? I give one room also. Ablaze, okay. It was like me and person was sharing one room. I can't remember. There's, there's a place I used to come and pray. One particular room there. I used to come there. I would just come and pray, 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 pray. After I pray, I leave. They were there. The house was furnished with chairs, televisions, complete, complete house, water, and everything. Take. So that same year. The same man called me and I prayed for him. He took my hand. He said, Let, he said let's go to your car. I said, which car? I came with bike. He said, you mean you don't have car? And he said, with this grace on your head. He said, follow me. He didn't go back home. He took me to where they sell car and told me. He took me to a man. There's a man who sells car. They call him something like Easy Motor or something like that. Uh -huh. Easy Motor. He took me there. He said, pick any car of your choice. My brother, a favor, 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 favor. Yes, sir. And behold, I entered the side car. I say, on the engine, they own it. On the AC, they own it. Oh, you are like poverty. <laughs> poverty, you are a bastard. When I was through taking the fresh air and the AC, I took, I collected the Mercedes Benz compressor. And then the man gave me 50K. He said, put number and then buy for it. I drove away. I drove away. But before then, before favor came, eh, <laughs> there was a bike I used to have. You know, there are some bikes you call motorcycle. My own now, uh, motorcycle. <laughs> My own came with wahala, came with problem. You know? Oh God. Wahala promise <laughs> my bike. The bike has several kind of problems. I'm not you don't ever ride bike before. Let me see your hand. Oh. Never had ride, ride. If you don't ever ride bike before, ever. Bike. Mm. You know, say, bike, they get different wahala. Some not they, they, some not they embarrass. Some they embarrass away. Well. No, but one problem of my bike was that the tank was leaking. And you know, no matter how you wear perfume, if your tank is leaking and the, the foil touch you, your perfume will tell you to go and they have. The perfume dies automatically because foil, the fumes of foil is terrible. So the tank and the tank was leaking in the wrong part. We don't use a bar, you know work. A man, you know work. They will call, they will be prescribing things to you. Say, no, 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 man, don't work. Put soap, we put soda. Soda don't work. Who can do soap? We put canoe soap. Not be canoe soap. Somebody will tell you, put do do soup. We became Yoruba traditional people. We were coming back from left, right, and center. Yet, from under foot, we still go to drop. So I came to a, a, a conclusion. I said, no, I will not be putting soap again. Let me be buying fuel that will not get to that part of the tank where it's leaking. Scientific discovery. I discovered it. So I started buying buy fuel of 170 naira. The moment it's 170, it will not, it will not get there. It will just be under. That was one problem. 
and I discover solution. The second problem is that the bike does overflow. And you know what problem with overflow? Your, it's your carburetor that has the problem with overflow. And when your carburetor has overflow problem, the first solution before you can change it is anytime you park, quickly lock the fuel tank. Am I correct? Yes, sir. I wear my gang now. <laughs> so the moment that you park, I'll just lock it. That's number two. Number three, the bike, the back hub of the bike is worn out. So no matter you match brake, she went, not the whole. Now handbrake now the whole. And if you hold the handbrake and bend your steady, no matter how anointed you, you must fall. It's a normal thing. I'm telling you, it's a normal caucus. It's not elective. You must fall. Before I even discover that, uh, before I reach program, I don't fall like four times. I felt a person to give water my wash hand before I preach. It was happening. So, many, many other problems, but this theory, more of it is because this theory. So I started using handbrake. I will not bend the hand, I will straighten the hand, I will use handbrake to stop. Then use leg to support it. Then, another problem is that my bike does not stand. The stand has eaten to the extent it used to lie down. The fifth problem is that my bike is a coat of many colors. I don't even really know which people made that bike. But the engine was Simba. The tank was Q-Link. The side cover was Titan. The frame was cargo frame. <laughs> it's a combination. It's like an award bike. So sometimes when you want to repair the bike, you need to know the specific part that, is, that has a problem inside. If you hear, say, I hear. I hear you, sir. So that was how I was treating my bike. I was managing my bike small, small. I was treating my bike small, small. One day, I went to Moscow Finish Station to buy fuel. As I got there, I just parked. I already wore my suit. No money to buy real suit. I was buying o o o Okrika. And you know Okrika suit? They don't tear around for back. It's not so they look like lab coat. <laughs> with, <laughs> with so many buttons. Then big, big pockets. That my suit, eh? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see, I kept the video of the preaching I preached in 2007. One day, I was uploaded on Facebook. I'm telling you, I kept it. They are still on my shirt today. I will upload them. You go, you, you go, hey. You go see somebody with like a letter, I inside one big bag. Then they find the person inside. <laughs> so what happened? When, <laughs> when I got to that Moscow Finish Station, I wanted to buy fuel. It was time for program. I already said my big Bible, Jerusalem Bible, my mother gave to me then. My mother gave me the Bible, very big with zip. I put it on the front. And what one of other, other of my stranded pastor, stranded people were both on the bike. Say, put the fuel. He says, girl already knows me. It's 170. I don't buy more than that. No matter how God bless me, it's 170. I maintain my status quo. And so, ladies and gentlemen, as I was maintaining myself, a man just came from nowhere, foundation. He must say, Apostle, now you be there. I say, Yeah, now me. He say, Hey, you came to preach in the Apostolic Church. You told me about the land that they will give me the land. They have given me, oh, finally. Thank God, I've been looking for you. I don't have your number. And I told the says, Get fill this tank. <laughs> Problem. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they call Wahala Wahalo? Now, this one they see you. Now, me, I'm so shocked by the man's testimony, and I forgot to tell them, No, they don't poof well. Uh -huh. Before I don't they leak, I forget because of the shock. I forgot to lock it. If overflow don't join. Double wala for dead body. And now see me as suit. I don't. I don't any gadge with my father. Big big shoe when I wear. Behold, I looked at my left, and I looked at my right. There was nobody to call upon. The man and if they looked me like say I'm not happy. How I go happy for this kind of condition? I could not explain. I don't feel start the bike. I don't feel push up. I just they look. Then they say somebody won't buy for me, I'm confused. Finally, me and my stranded follow, fellow, we push the bike, come out. I started. The problem about this bike, eh, it goes, they behave like say one start. It they shock me. Now, when they even tell me, I say no one start, they sure say go so start. But they tell you the they make. And then you want that put. Sir. <laughs> Now, so me and this guy push back, oh, push, push, push. Pastor, they call me when I want to go preach for. I don't feel picky. Which I want to tell him. Say, back never start. I want to go very far. We push, 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 push. He could be able to say, the thing they encourage us. Finally, 
There's a woman that used to be part of us here in the sanctuary. She's, she's now at, uh, it's like Opuji. They located to Opuji. She met me and said to me, <laughs> she met me and said to me, Apostle, this your bike don't go kill you. You know, when your member not fit, cost you direct. There's a way they can send you the message. But you already know what they are trying to say. <laughs> say, this bike, now won't kill my pastor. So, you understand? I was, <laughs> I received the, I know, I know what she was trying to say. She could not insult me directly. So I said, okay, no problem. Finally, the bike, after the, we lock it, it has dried. Back then, finally start. We not jump into the bike. And I drove to the program. When we got to the program, hey, behold, the pastor was angry. You could see him foaming on the altar. <laughs> I said, hey, this is my window with you. I go through. You're not supposed to behave like this. Oh. Relax. He said, people have left. People are leaving. We have spent too much time. I said, give me Mike. Give me Mike. And I began, I began to worship God. I began to worship God. He gets to me. Ni me sotie. O gora ni da lo. Ai ga me 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 o. Who we go bo me we go abe. O gora ni da lo. Nu ga ga me 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 o. I was crying as I was worshiping God. Crying, crying, crying. Before you know what happened, I began to prophesy. People who heard the song started coming. The church became packed. Few minutes, everyone was packed. And I opened my eyes and I was shocked. The pastor was shocked. The wife was shocked. And God moved mightily. And after it, I was just worshiping God on the altar because of the miracles that happened. And the Lord said, do you love me? I said, yes, now. <laughs> with, with what you have done, I love you. He said, give me your bag. <laughs> I said, I said, to, I said to God, you better you don't know what they ask for. This guy, might give me this guy. <laughs> might give me this guy. He said, give me your bike. And I, behold, I just went to, my, went to the pastor. I said, pastor, God told me to bless the church with my bike. Pastor was shout, yeah! He, he, he grabbed the mic from my hand. Praise the Lord! God just told our uh, guest speaker to dash us back. Me or the tummy, you're the laugh. <laughs> you don't know what they give church to. If you know, it's supposed to be, I suppose they handcuff <laughs> for defiling the church. Me or the cast the matter, they go. They tell him why they tell everybody. I say, this guy pinned down. Huh? Be your own. You never see which I want to give you. I only said bike. You don't know the brand of bike. So behold, after the service, God moved. They stopped back for me. I moved go house. Money never reach. I see Miss Cuff my phone. Almost 19 Miss Cuff. Who they call me now? Pastor. Pastor. <laughs> oh, oh God, don't they call me? <laughs> now look the call. It's still the ring. Uh -uh. My man, they tell me, say, something is not right. And I know, even if my man not tell me, I don't even know, say, something is wrong. I say, what, what do I do? I don't pick, I drop him. I see my I go outside, I go peace. I see my bike from my outside. <laughs> huh? Something when I don't saw a seat. The car come my outside. Bro, <laughs> the bike, they look bad, they look the bike. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I didn't bring this bike come back. What did they stop? Me say me, I move as a fast guy now. Pastor don't from back, bracket me. But what did they happen? They call you, I say, I have no vessel, no vessel, no vessel. I said, what happened? He said, Mama, see me, I bring this bike, come back. <laughs> I said, why? <laughs> he said, they don't close this room. Or should I go push the bike, go this side? <laughs> Quiet, I go push and come. Prayer bank, go push and go. <laughs> the same while I went at his face, he tell me, say, the bike, they behave like say one start. <laughs> Village people. Ah, he said the bag, he could be able to say one start. But you know the start. I said, I want to bring a coin. He said, the door and come. He go in. Thank God. I so, ah, I, I just, you know, my Bible says, my sheep hear my voice. I said, I don't go where my level do. I just, 
Man, not say my level. Which I give God when they bring come back. I go there, I just tap the carburetor for under. Lock the fire. You're run at once. You know you're doing here. <laughs> once. You see your start. I all run and run and run, 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 run. I tell the man, say me carry go. He say no. Say where well, tell us me not bring it back. <laughs> oh my God. He said, wife tell her, say me not bring it back on house again. <laughs> me, anything when I tell her, me not bring it back on. For my prayer, the guy they call the wife. He said the bike don't start to. The wife said, no, 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 no. Whether the woman dreams see the bike for night to or I don't know. So finally. They carry the bike. They drop out. I ask the pastor, what, 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 I don't give God, I don't give God. He's saying no. See, may I go up there and sell out. May I bring the money, come for them. If they go Barak Junction, eh, there's a, a bike mechanic there. His name is Akboka. Who know Akboka? You know Akboka? Hey. You know Akboka? Now, so I drive the bike, go down. Akboka, only Akboka, they feel it there, my bike. Man, in, what are you? <laughs> Because the guy who resembles the bike, what you know, they see his name. <laughs> if you just sit beside the coin, they are about it. If they give you respect, man of God, don't come. We go leave the bike when they do go repair my bike. So I can't go with and say, Akpoka, one set back. Akpoka say, Hey, you want to sell this bike? That till today, I don't know why he's shaking head. Whether they pity for me or not, the bike is pity for me. No, no. What say, Oh, you want to sell the bike? I say, Yes. I touch the bike here, touch and touch and touch and. Bike when I buy nine thousand full bike, oh. even when I buy nine thousand self, <laughs> wahala. He called them and said the only money when they get to pay now six thousand. I called the pastor, I said, Pastor, they said they want to buy the bike for six thousand euro. He said, hey, Sell and bring the money, one buy mic for church. I called the book, I said, Give me the six thousand. He said, For now, now leave four thousand even get. <laughs> I called the pastor again, say, hey, they bring the four thousand. This was to, to tell you, say, Hope, not day. I took the 4K, I left the bike, and I went to give them. Remember, a woman mocked me and said to me, this my bike will kill me. So when I was driving home, that C-class that they bought for me, as I got to Poké Joshua, I met that woman there. Hey, we. Hey, we. That's why I went. Now, you know Mercedes-Benz, AC, now like deep freezer, mortuary, standard. That's why I turned on the AC vent, face the chair. You know they bring out the Jew of Solomon. Now, when he now tell the woman, say, Madam Afa, he said, do. I said, where you they go? He said, they go. I said, enter. Now he enter. Now wind up. The woman sit down. The cold now don't the enter is her bone. And the discover say, all her armpit don't they swear. You know, see one person be like buff. Cold don't they pneumonia don't they don't they collect back to back go to go to. Now I tell the woman say, Madam, how far now? He said, they find I say, how bad are you picking when they Lagos now? What is going in that they ask? Let me say I don't care. <laughs> now the woman say <laughs> she 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 there for I say no no answer this car you go die. I mean you say bag go kill. <laughs> you say bag go kill me me. Before I reach her, she don't jump down. She don't jump down. Uh. You know why they tell you this story? Because those that mocked you before February end, God will do something to you by favor. Amen. That any word they used to mock you, your favor will reply them. Amen. I said your favor will reply them. Amen. 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 By favor, the Almighty shall reply them. Amen. By favor, the Almighty shall reply them. Amen. Anyone who has done evil to you oh. because of your present predicament oh. by the power of the Holy Ghost, Amen. they shall be replied by favor. Amen. If you scream amen loud and clear, you're the one I'm talking to here. Hey!